It's a well-known fact that cats aren't for everyone. They're moody, hard to please, and they like living on their own schedules. But at the same time, you will never find a pet as loving as a cat. Cats are easy to train, low maintenance, and some of the most affectionate companions as far as animals go. But as adorable as these furry little creatures are, cat owners often find their kitties doing some pretty questionable things, which really makes us all wonder what goes on inside a cat's brain. From purring to face rubbing and sleeping all day long, in this video, we're taking you through 15 of the strangest cat behaviors to help you understand what they really mean. Number 15, licking themselves. If you own a cat, you know that they just love to lick themselves. Whenever cats get the time, they like licking themselves from head to toe, multiple times a day. And while it might look weird, the truth is that cats are more hygienic than most other animals. Licking themselves is their way of cleaning off any dirt from their fur. And the cleaner cats are, the more they can avoid any kinds of predators who might be attracted to their scent. So when your cat stops grooming itself, that's when you need to worry. Number 14 cat chatters. A lot of time, owners catch their kitties chattering and chirping, especially if they're outside. This usually happens when your cat sees a bird, and while most people think that this chattering is because the cat wants to hunt down the bird, the real reason why cats chatter is because they're trying to imitate them. Why? Well, because for some reason, seeing birds excites cats, and they want to do all they can to try and talk to them in their own language. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Number 13, face rubbing. One of the most annoying things about having a pet cat is all the times when it comes up to you and rubs its face against your entire body. But the truth is that cats don't rub their face against just anyone. Face rubbing is an act of affection where a cat tries to mingle its scent with yours, thinking of it as their way of telling you that they like you a lot, especially if the two of you are meeting for the first time. Number 12, headbutting. Think of this as a slightly more aggressive form of face rubbing than cats only reserve for the people they are super close to. Sometimes cats get a little too enthusiastic about spending time with their owners, and in this case, they might just slam their face into yours, just to show how much they like being around you. Headbutting is also a sign for you to start giving out some pats and rubs to your kitty in return. Number 11, chilling in small spaces. Sometimes you might find your cat in the smallest, quietest corners of your home like inside a box, a small cupboard, or even under the sink. This is because cats like tight spaces because that's where they feel comfortable and protected. As loving as cats are, they like taking a break from all the humans around them in their own little space where they can shut everyone out. Number 10, bringing you dead things. This one might be one of the strangest things that cats do and their human owners put up with it. When your cat hunts something, it makes sure to first bring their dead prey over to you. This is not just your cat's way of saying thank you, but they also are making sure that you have enough food to eat, just in case. By bringing you dead rodents and birds, your cat thinks that it's teaching you how to hunt so that you don't end up starving. I mean, it's the thought that counts, right? Number 9. Sleeping All Day some people like to keep cats as pets because these little animals sleep about 15 hours a day, giving you plenty of time to get all your work done before focusing all your attention on your animal friend. Most people don't know this, but cats are nocturnal animals, which means that they're the most active at night, and for that, they need to sleep throughout the day. While some cats adjust their sleeping pattern according to their owner's lifestyle, most kitties still still love their 15-hour bedtime with tons of naps mixed in, of course. Number 8. Purring While purring is pretty common in cats of all kinds, you'll be surprised to know the reason why cats make this strange sound. Most cats learn how to purr at the age of just two days old, and they continue doing it till the time they die. 
No one really knows why cats purr except for the fact that when they're happy or comforted, their brain triggers their larynx to vibrate at a frequency of 25 to 150 times a second, which is what makes the purring sound. Some people believe that purring vibrations also help heal any kinds of infections, swelling, and even bone damage. Sometimes cats also purr when they're scared and uncomfortable, which scientists believe is a way for them to comfort and heal themselves. Makes sense, doesn't it? Number seven, mouth wide open. Do you ever catch your cat staring at something with its mouth wide open? Well, don't worry because you're definitely not the only one. You might think that this happens because your cats are scared or in shock, but in reality, all it's trying to do is smell better. That's right. When cats do this, it's called a phlegmin response, where they curl their lips and open their mouths to get a better sense of what they're smelling through their mouth, making it look like something has given your cat a nasty surprise. Number six, urine spraying. For some strange reason, cats like to stand upright, back up against a surface, and they spray their urine all over it. Sometimes your cat might even twitch a little during the process. This is because cats usually urinate this way when they feel threatened or stressed out. Spraying their urine is a way for felines to mark their territory and help themselves feel safer in unfamiliar environments or situations. Spraying helps your cat surround the area with their own scent, which is extremely comforting to them. So instead of getting mad at your pet for spraying their urine, clean them up and try to make them feel as safe as you can. Number five, hating baths. It's no surprise that all cats hate taking baths. There's just something about the water that cats don't like at all. But at the same time, cats like staying clean all the time, right? So what's the problem? The reason is exactly that. Cats have fur that takes a really long time to dry, and like the hygienic animals they are, cats just don't like dripping everywhere once they get out of the bath. Number four, making biscuits. Making biscuits is sometimes also referred to as making bread. It's basically when your cat starts pushing its paws up and down on a surface, usually a soft one, as if it's kneading something. Some people believe that cats release their hormones through their paws, so kneading might be a way to mark their territory. But the popular belief is that making biscuits is a habitual instinct that cats develop when they are still kittens and have to knead their mothers to stimulate milk production. And for some reason, it always stays with them. Number three, sudden sprint. You know that moment when your cat is sitting down peacefully and the next second it suddenly makes a huge sprint from wherever it was resting a few moments ago? These sudden sprints might seem funny and weird, but they usually occur when your cat has a lot of pent-up energy that just needs to get out of its system. If you find your cat randomly sprinting every now and then, make sure to take it out for some physical activity every day to save yourself the whiplash every now and then. Number two, biting. Most people don't think of cats as animals that bite, but that's where they're wrong because if you dare to provoke your kitty, she will not hesitate to unleash hell on you. Cats usually bite you when they're uncomfortable or if something you're doing is making them angry, sort of like a protection tactic. Sometimes cats also bite their owners if they feel that they're not getting enough attention. The most logical thing to do when your cat bites you is to immediately stop any kind of contact and then gently blow in your cat's face to let the kitty know that you didn't like it. So they're trained to know that they're not supposed to bite so hard. Number one, landing on their feet. One thing that's really fascinating about cats is the fact that they fall from any height and still land on their feet, always. And while it might look like some secret superpower that only cats have, it's really just because cats have extremely quick reflexes. This particular one is called the writing reflex that allows cats to adjust the angle of their legs and adjust their flexible bodies to balance their equilibrium and land successfully. 
The fact that cats are pretty lightweight animals also helps them orient themselves in a way that they land on their feet with no damage to their bodies. In simple words, you can say that a cat's body is basically designed to handle all kinds of falls. All right, comment below which of these cat behaviors surprised you the most and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to InfoLab for more. We'll see you on the next one.